Thanks, Jack. As most of you know, Election Day is coming up next Tuesday. In light of this, the 12th grade Monticello scholars are having a mock election to be conducted today and tomorrow for all students currently in social studies. Your social studies teacher should have more details for you today. In order to help you guys get a better idea of who you want to elect, we've decided to take some time to talk a little about the candidates for governor, lieutenant governor, and attorney general this morning. We'll start off with the AG hopefuls. The Republican on the ballot is Mark Obenshaw. Mark was elected to the Senate of Virginia in 2003, and he currently serves on five committees. In his professional life, Mark is one of the founders of the Harrisonburg and Charlottesville-based law firm of Linehart Obenshaw and PC. He's an accomplished legislator and acclaimed lit litigator with extensive experience on constitutional issues. Running against Obenshine is Democratic State Senator Mark Herring. Mark was elected to the State Senate in 2006. During his tenure, he has worked to bring technology-based economic development to the Northern Virginia region, secure transportation funding for needed overpasses and other local road projects, and has been a leader in making both state and local governments more accountable to Virginia citizens. Now for the Lieutenant Governor candidates. First up is Republican E.W. Jackson. Jackson served three years in the United States Marine Corps. He practiced small business law for 15 years in Boston and taught regulatory law as a professor at Northeastern University in Boston. Since returning to his first home of Virginia, he's also taught graduate courses in business and commercial law at Strayer University in Virginia Beach. As Lieutenant Governor, he plans to fight for policies that resist Washington and reign in Richmond. He believes that adherence to the principles of our constitutions is the only way to protect the freedom of every citizen. In his words, God will show us the way, let liberty light the way. In his opposition is Democratic Ralph Northman. Since first being elected to the Senate of Virginia in 2007, Ralph has scored numerous legislative accomplishments, including helping to pro prohibit smoking in restaurants, protecting youth athletes who have sustained concussions, improving the health of the Chesapeake Bay, and shielding our first responders from communicable diseases. Ralph has also been a strong advocate for women's health, public education, economic development, and long-term solutions to Virginia's transportation problems. And finally, your candidates for governor of Virginia. Leading off is Democrat Terry McAuliffe. McAuliffe is a businessman, entrepreneur, and dad who has lived in Fairfax County, Virginia for over 20 years. He's an advocate of fewer business regulations, putting more money into our transportation and educational systems, writer enforcement of employment laws, and making sure everyone has a say in economic discussions. Also running is Ken Cuccinelli, the Republican on the ballot against McCullough. As Attorney General, he has become best known for his efforts to preserve liberty and defend the U.S. Constitution. As a state senator, Cuccinelli fought to defend constitutional rights, stop tax increases, protect life and families, and keep Virginia a low-regulation and pro-free market state. From 2005 up to the present day, he has worked to pass laws that now prevent local and state governments from taking private homes and businesses for developers' projects and said for, uh, for true public uses. He has also passed legislation that stops local governments from exhausting our law enforcement officers' overtime work. Closing out the governor race is independent Robert Sarvis. Sarvis is running for governor because he believes and cares about other people. He isn't satisfied by the self-serving attitudes offered by most politicians. Rob wants to give Virginians a different option based on open-minded, intelligent, economically literate leadership. He wants to bring Virginians together, not divide them with a culture war or a class war. He seeks to expand personal freedom by supporting marriage equality, restoring civil liberties, and embracing immigrants with open arms. And he plans to expand economic freedom by offering tax relief, freeing up workers and job creation from needless regulation, and putting parents in control of the money spent on their children's education. That's all the information we have for the local elections this year. Also on the ballot will be several constitutional amendment proposals and more local offices. For all you social studies students, be sure to vote either today or tomorrow and see your teacher for the information you need. Thanks for watching and now it's time for a brief edition of Turner Time.